Aaron, have you calmed down from last night, an early exit in last night's game? Yeah, I, um, it was so early last night that, uh, yeah, I had time to calm down. And um, on to the next one now. And, uh, you know, obviously got a little, little frustrated there early strike zone certainly not where you wanted it to be a lot of low strikes called last night that was your seventh ejection of the season do you ever look back at them and rank them one two three I, I do not rank them um, a lot of people reach out to me and rank them or or uh, get their point across or let me know what they thought of it um, but I don't I don't rank them uh, this one is the most fresh in my mind and uh, you know, obviously took exception with some of the stuff last night. And you, as you know, and if you've seen, uh, one thing I'm going to fight over is, is that strike zone consistency. Well, one thing is clear. You have your players back. What do you think it means to them in that clubhouse that you go to bat for them? I don't know. I, you know, I, I think just hearing what they've said, I think they appreciate it um, at different times. It's never my goal to necessarily get kicked out of a game. Um, but you know we hold them you know I, I hold our try and hold our hitters to to a standard of controlling the strike zone and having the discipline to lay off tough pitches so it's always been something that I'm gonna fight for I don't want it to ever necessarily end in an ejection but I also never want players to get ejected uh, so sometimes you got to jump in ten games left this season there's been a lot of frustration all the way around you mentioned controlling the strike zone in that offense it seemed like all year long you guys just were never able to get in a groove offensively is it a little head scratching to you as to why that was a, a little bit you know look we've we've had some guys that have struggled we've certainly had you know some significant injuries that that have impacted us along the way and made it challenging at different times but then the bottom line is we haven't performed like you know to to a standard that we know we're capable of and um you know that's been difficult at times um but it's also part of it and we got to hopefully learn a lot hopefully it allows us to learn about some other personnel that we didn't necessarily think we'd be counting on this year that hopefully uh, will play a significant role for us moving forward. I assume you're talking about the youth when it comes to that other personnel that maybe you weren't thinking of counting on. Who stood out to you when it comes to those young guys? Well, I, look, I think Jason Dominguez, um, even though it was uh, a, a small sample, um, obviously he, he was the guy that came up with, with the most fanfare and, and a lot of the attention and immediately kind of delivered on that. Um, got off to an amazing start before unfortunately ha having to ha have Tommy John, which he success successfully had yesterday. So he's obviously somebody that we're very excited about, but you know, I'm looking at Austin Wells and Oswald Peraza and to see Oswaldo Cabrera who came up last year and had such an, a significant impact for us last year, go through a lot of struggles this year and right now playing probably his best baseball of the year. You know, those are the things that hopefully going through some tough moments, um, uh, put us in a better position moving forward with a with a more balanced roster. What's the most difficult thing that you had to go through this season in, in trying to lead this team? Uh, look, anytime. Look, we we come into the season with, you know, this was no different than the previous five that I've been here with championship aspirations, and uh, you know, we felt like the personnel we had, we rightfully had those expectations, um, and from whether it's, uh, you know, downcline in performance here or there, injuries, um, for whatever reason, we haven't, you know, met our standard. And, and along the way, that makes it for a difficult challenge. Like, we've got used to a lot of winning around here, and um, we put a lot into... I talk about shaking hands at the end of the night. The goal is to shake hands at the end of the night. And we pour a lot into that all year long and each and every day. And when that doesn't happen at a level you expect, uh, you know, it's not quite as fun and it makes for a challenging year. Still 10 left to play this season. I imagine you guys will be evaluating the rest of the way. Aaron, thanks for the time. I know you have a lot to do before first pitch. Thanks, Meredith.